Hey YouTube, Phil and Florence. Today I went by Walmart Supercenter and picked up some premium spare ribs. That's a pretty uh, rack of spare ribs right there. I probably won't tri do too much trimming on it. And while I was there, I couldn't stand it. I saw these, these beef ribs. They're the little, you know what Walmart has, HMB specials. <laughs> I got me some of these, Ken, and uh, they're only $10, so, you know, what the heck, I'll just chunk them on there along with those spare ribs, and we got some vegetables we're going to do, I don't know how much of this, but mixed vegetables, it's pretty nice today, it's chilly, it's uh, about 52 degrees, oh, I'm going to be using the SNS Kamado, I've got some leftover Fogo, I'll be finishing up on that, and uh, the rest of the charcoal will be the B&B &B lump. So, it's all lump today on the SNS Kamado. Stick with me. I'll be right back. As you can see, I had to do a little more trimming than I thought. But we got them cleaned up. I didn't cut much off of the spare ribs. I did not make them St. Louis cut. We're going to go on with what you see right there. I'm going to go on with some SPG that I put together. And some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Beef ribs, I'm gonna put the SPG on those and let them go. Maybe a little Worcestershire binder, but that's all I'm gonna do to this. Here's my setup, guys. Got the SNS Kamado warmed up, ready to go. And we're getting ready to put these beef ribs and these spare ribs on. Yeah, right there. There we go. Get on over there. Trying to stay over that plate. That's what I'm trying to do. A lot of heat coming up from under there. I don't want it to burn. Let's try that again. I might just do these this way. There we go. You just have to keep trying stuff, guys. Get it like you want it. There we go. Woo! Okay, guys. We got them on. We'll let them go for about an hour and come back and check them and maybe spritz them. Spritz the pork ribs with some apple cider vinegar. Hey, look at my gourds out there. You see them? Right there. I saw two purple martin sitting on top this morning. When I got up, I heard them chirping. So hopefully they've gone back to get the rest of them and bring them back. That's how they do. All right, let's let this thing go. Okay, we've been cooking around 295 to 300. It's just been a little over two hours since we put these ribs on. Good, they've really pulled back off the bones. Let's put some apple cider vinegar on the pork ribs. They've got some nice pullback. I don't know if you can see that back here. I'll hold these over to the side. So this beef broth won't get on the pork ribs. I'll slide them up a little bit. In fact, I might turn them that way. Yeah. There we go. Let's close this lid and let her go a little more. Okay, I've decided to go ahead and pull these ribs and wrap them. I don't want them to get overcooked, and I think they're they're right where I want them, especially these uh, beef ribs. Okay, I'm just going to wrap them together. They're small racks. 
Hmm, come here, Bubba. Come on, big girl. Hey. That'll work. That'll work. It's a lot faster. Nothing fancy. Okay, now I want to get those up. Spare ribs. Let's get those up. Do the usual on these. Little spritz, apple cider vinegar on there. Now, what I'm going to do, put a little honey. This is real honey I got locally. It is different than that stuff you get from Sam's, that's for sure. Go with a little brown sugar. Got them wrapped and we'll let them sit in that wrap for about an hour and we'll come back and take them out and sauce the pork ribs and take up the beef ribs. Okay, we got a little bit of daylight left. I'm getting ready to unwrap and sauce the pork ribs and take the beef ribs up. Okay, see what we can do here. Been cooking hot, they've been cooking at 300. Grab way deep. You can do that number right there. Wow. All right, let's see if we can't get some hiff sauce on these things. I was going to take that plate out and let it set without stone in there. Hold on, I still can. Whammo. <laughs> I took the stone out, so I'm right over the charcoal, and they still got plenty in there to do what I want to set that sauce. I'm going to flip them back over. I, they can't stay like that long. That sugar and that sauce will uh, burn. I'm going to go ahead and turn them back over. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And the sauce. And we'll just let this set. Just going to kind of go up and down. I don't want to wipe it off like that. That's going to get some pretty color and some pretty flavor. Nice flavor on these ribs. Okay, these ribs are done. I'm just letting that sauce set a little bit. And the beef ribs are over there. Okay, the cook is done. And I think the last you saw before it got dark is I had sauced the ribs. So they've been resting for a little while. And I'll show you the beef ribs first. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They look good. Yeah. These were $10, guys. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what $10 ribs taste like. Of course, we've had some before. Yeah, we've done this. From uh, Walmart. $10 ribs. Not bad. Look at there. Oh yeah. Let's take a bite right off the bone. Hmm. That's good. Jeff, you'll like these. Hmm. You want to buy? Yes, I would. Would you slice me one? Try that, yeah. Jeff. Hmm. That's pretty good, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's really good. Folks, yeah. that's the best ten dollar beef ribs I've ever oh, had. Oh, I know. Those That's are definitely worth that. Those are delicious. We might do this from now on instead of spending uh, $100. <laughs> <laughs>
all that money on those dinosaurs. I'm gonna cover them back up. Mm, gosh, those are that's really tender. All too. right, man, we're gonna get out the uh, spare ribs. Spare ribs. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go across right there. Well, if you remember, I didn't. You're gonna have that little gristle right there. I didn't take that out when I was trimming, so you'll get a little resistance right there. It looks good. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get me a good bite. Very tender. They look tender. Yummy. I got to go in for another. I'll have another. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Off of the movie? Thor. Thor. <laughs> I'm just sitting do, do, here enjoying do, do, myself. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Very good. It, it it's a sweet rib. Um, mm, that's great. Maybe one day I'll get some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here storming. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna carve the rest of these up, and I'll show you what it looks like before we get away from here. So, folks, that was my cook for today. Some veggies too. Yeah, we got. Got a few um, roasted veggies vegetables there. and baked potatoes. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. And I really appreciate all of my viewers, all of you guys around the Florence Sumter area. Yeah. I don't even know who all of you are, but I know a lot of my family members, neighbors. I don't really know who all is watching because not everybody leaves a comment. <laughs> I think if everybody left a comment, I'd never get through. <laughs> uh, leaving replies, but thank all of you for watching Phil and Florence and uh, Coming along with us each week to watch what we're doing in the backyard on the patio <laughs> You know backyard pit master So are most of you if you're watching this you're probably a backyard pit master too. Yep But I hope you're learning some something new each week. I've got different pits and uh so if you have one of those pits, you, I hope you're picking up um, a few things that, that I've learned from other people. That's the way it works, right? <laughs> Train the trainer. <laughs> All right. All right. Until next time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. All right. We'll see you. Bye. Let's just see what this little piece of trimming. <laughs> Overcooked. It's good though. You like jerky? <laughs>